Yes, what it do with its speaker, baby? Hey, this your boy Soldier checking back in the building with another fire topic, yo. And Yahweh, he really wanted me to do like a part two to the topic I've done so far as being too far gone. You know what I'm saying? You can be too far gone in this life mentally, man. You know what I'm saying? To really go higher with him. You know what I'm saying? And this is why it's very important to move off faith. If you're not here to move off faith, man, you know what I'm saying? It's because you are too far gone in what you think and all this stuff, man. You know, and for my one third, just stay cool tuned for the next upcoming powerful messages. I was going to do another one, you know, to, you know, so far as slavery right away, you know, because it's going to let you know, you know, who the real is and how Yahweh really raised the real one up, you know, but stay tuned for that. But in this one, you know, I got to really let this one be known to the too far gone ones. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you're just lost mentally in the mind if you're not finna move off faith, but you're watching every message. You're too far gone. You're cursed mentally, you see. And then for my one third, you know, Yahweh just want me to sharpen y'all and let y'all know, you know, you're on the right path. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just just don't let nothing make you participate in anything that'll have you gone out here, man, period. You see, me, I'm not perfect, but, and I may hit the weed at time due to stressful demons and stuff, but at the end of the day, I know what the hell Yahweh called me to do, and I'm here to do just that. Ain't no motherfuckers finna stop me, man. I don't give a damn if you're saying I'm cussing. It's only harsh language. I ain't here to speak smooth words to you, you see. And Yahweh move off my stuff, you see. And this is real, guys. And this is what I'm saying. My stuff is only for the movers and shakers. And, you know, and I would never turn away and then go out here and do some gay sex or something or, or, or open up a black book of magic and stuff. This is serious. I never do anything like that. And for my one third, Yahweh want me to let y'all know, stay sharp because Satan, you know, when you get weak in this game with Yahweh, you know, many people minds ain't strong like that. And Satan will provide other ways. And that one way you choose can fuck up your whole life. You know what I'm saying? That's why I give you the messages I give you to watch out for, <laughs> you know, tricks of Satan. I'm just going to say, you know. I keep you, I teach you women how to keep your legs closed, head up, eyes open. I teach my niggas how to just focus on the most high. You got to because Satan is going to send different tricks of, of the flesh and all this to get you to partake. You know, he done it with me on you. This is why you see the green symbol on my stuff on YouTube. They know who is set here and firmly focused on Yahweh. I never sell out for no money or anything or they will dwell in a satanic lifestyle in any type of way and try to just, just follow the most high or whatever. You see? You get what I'm saying? You know, I never do. Even, you know, you see, Yahweh showed examples of this in the past with King Solomon. King Solomon asked Yahweh for wisdom and knowledge. He got that. And then he basically betrayed Yahweh and started serving other gods. I never do that. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh is my provider and Satan can't come to me with no tricks and offering me no damn deal on YouTube. This is why they shut my old channel down with damn near a thousand messages. And these clown weird ones, I can tell instantly when you're not really raised up. And they come into my stuff and they snakes. You see, but at the end of the day, I'm still here. Yahweh with me. I got another outlet over here on speaker. I'm good. Happy as hell. You see, and demons, y'all, they don't like to see me come and they hate me because I'm not mentally, you know what I'm saying, of this world. You see, I can sit back and play a video game and all this shit and then it's not going to take my mind. The Lord said in the scriptures for if you keep your mind focused on me, I should keep you at perfect peace. Those who keep their mind focused on the most high. So this is what I learned. And I'm going to teach my one third more of that powerful ways and, you know, for you to stay focused in different messages. You see, and don't let the enemy come through with no fucking test. If you're trying to do your best to please him, make sure you don't fall for the same tricks that the enemy here had at. I mean, I mean and, you know, Satan, he have it set up. You know, to the point where you, if you go back, that'll be your last shot and you can die. If I go out here and, 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 and play against Yahweh, I can end up getting killed. And this is what I'm saying. Yahweh the Father, mercy was great on Solomon because he went to serve devils and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sleeping with all them concubine women and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And Yahweh didn't punish him even worse. Yeah, he lost the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? But Yahweh didn't kill him. 
You see, with me, if I go out here and betray Yahweh in any type of satanic way, Yahweh will kill me. And this is what Satan is going to do to all one third. He's going to try to find ways to get you in the world, to get you to hang with motherfuckers. And demons is going to move on the next level if you take decisions like that. You see, and that's why I say whatever you do, you're not going to be perfect, but make sure you are by yourself focused on the most high, man. And when you see the same attack of the enemy coming, you better turn away from it because that'll be your last shot. And this is why I'm doing this message for my one third. Don't let nothing out here pull you back into the world. Satan wants you too far gone. And then a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, man, like I say, if you don't understand this stuff, it's because you're too far gone. And what you want to do is what you into. You see, you're into idol worship, flesh worship. You know, what I'm saying that all these things. And this is what I'm saying. If you don't understand my stuff and you're not here to flex faith, you really ain't of the most high like that, man. You're of Satan's kingdom. All you know is something of Satan and doing what you want to do off a of motion of Satan. You know, and this is what I'm saying. If you're not here to get really set free, this is why a lot of people confused on my stuff. Come here with this confusion. You don't send me comments or anything. And this is not a game. You got to want Yahweh the way I'm telling you. If you ain't here, you ain't nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And this is how it's going to break the curses and the voodoo over your life through my stuff. Because I'm a real man with righteousness Yahweh raised me up to do. And this is why he put it on my heart to pray and stuff like he taught me in the jails. Because it says in the, in the Bible that the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. And all my prayers and rebukes should only work for the ones who are fully in line. And this is why I say I thank you to my ones, my true supporters and subscribers, man, who is real of heart. But if you are not real here... You better make your decision on who you're going to serve, man. You see? And just move the hell up off my stuff because the energy in you, a demon going to jump in you to be fucking with me in some type of way, whether it's a thumb down or you a part of the demon network, like I said on my other stuff. You're just going to be compelled with a demon because I know what path I'm on. We're here to get to the kingdom of gold, man. You know? And two, Yahweh wanted me to drop some jewels. It's somebody on here, man. Yahweh wanted me. It's by the Holy Spirit. He told me this. It's somebody on here. And this is what I'm saying for my true one third who real with this. It don't matter the background of your life and all. If your family was in the voodoo and stuff or whatever and you're real on my stuff, Yahweh got you. You know what I'm saying? He with you, bro. Trust me. He got you. He with you, yo. Just make be careful what you're doing. Watch out for the enemy and all this stuff, you know. And be strong about Yahweh and real about it, you know. And ain't no prayers of the satanic energy of that bloodline going to get to you, you see. But it's somebody out there, you know, Yahweh wanted me to let you know. You know, it's people too, you're trying to come into his kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't partake in black magic and stuff already, man. And this is real. Demons going to be at your ass, bro. And that's what I'm saying. If you ain't serious here for whoever you are, it could be a male or a female. For somebody out there, you didn't dwell in black magic already. You didn't lit up black candles. You didn't open black books of Satan already, man. And do you want to come here and play games? And I'm telling you, man, demons will attack your environment coming over here playing with me. And it's harder for you type to get to the most high because when you open the books and stuff like this to the demons world and partake in astral projecting and stuff like this, this is not of Yahweh. The Lord don't want us in work focused on astrology and stuff like this. It's in the scriptures. So I'm saying he'll call you as you is. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people, it's somebody out there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's somebody out there. You willingly, you know what I'm saying? You willingly partake in, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe a friend got you to do it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You willingly partake in opening a book or playing in a Ouija board game or something or astral projecting word about other spirits and stuff that wasn't of Yahweh you see and he was trying to call you then while you was doing it but you were still doing it and now you scared and stuff you know what I'm saying and stuff like this because it's demonic energy because you're trying to get out of that stuff now you see and it's possible for you to get free but Yahweh this is why he letting it be tough for you with demons bro or female whoever you are it's because you willingly made a decision to serve other gods his people did it in the past King Solomon did it you know what I'm saying King Solomon did it man this is why there's books of his evil works to this day called the songs of Solomon you can just read that book find out all his demonic works demons love that book and they worship that book to this day to represent his bad life this is why Yahweh punished King Solomon, man. And this is why you see a lot of Satanists you see today, too, because this bloodline rubbed off on people. 
That's why you see a lot of black entertainers and stuff like this in Hollywood and things of that nature. Stems from King Solomon. Just drop some jewels on you. You see, and he, he became possessed when he did that, too. It's deep with the story of Solomon, man. He was engaging, talking to real demons, having sex with all types of women. But he was talking to giants and all this stuff. Yahweh was upset with him, man. You know, and this is what I'm saying. You can't do nothing and get away with something with Yahweh, you know. And then on top of that, too, you know, you know, fast forward to these times when you dwell in this type of stuff and you dwell in black magic and stuff like this. You know, it's in the scriptures and I mess with none of that stuff that ain't of Yahweh's other spirits as idols or whatever. Once you get into a statue worship and all this stuff, the demon energy behind that stuff is real. It's real demons behind that stuff. They're going to attack your life. They're going to knock stuff over. You're, you're going to be followed and spiritually gang stalked by demons. You see what I'm saying? And it's, it's a punishment from Yahweh because you willingly did this. You see? This crazy. A lot of people, man, it's a lot of different ways you can serve other idols. Do your research about this, man. It's beads you can buy that you can put around your neck called Senora beads. And it's demonic word. They beads that bring good luck and all this stuff. And it works. It bring you money and all this stuff. These African voodoo shops and stuff know this stuff. This one I'm saying I never got involved in any of that. Never had Hollywood in my heart or any of that. You see what I'm saying? But this is facts. You get into any of that, man, I'm telling you, man, you bonding your soul with a with a, with a demon instantly. And it's very serious because they're going to torment your life. And this is what I'm saying. If you ain't here to be set free, man, you better you better get it together and call the name of Yahweh. I don't want to hear no other name. Once you come to this name, like Brother Aaron said, Brother AC Israel, for my real ones, y'all know who OG is. That's my dude, man. Hope you okay, OG, over there, because, you know, I've been focused. I ain't really been checking up on him. But he said in his stuff, you know what I'm saying, and I know Yahweh real because me, I'm a true one. When I got out of all the fakeness of the world, I called Yahweh and his chariot came, like I show you on my stuff. You know, and he said in that message, you was right, bro. You said once you come to the name of Yahweh and his son, Yahweh ben Yahweh, once you hear that name verbally and you see that from a true messenger like me, especially, or you hear that, you can't say no other name, bro. And this is why I'm standing firm on that. You was telling her, it's the truth, brother, around you, right? If I say any other name or anything, Yahweh going to get jealous of me. This is why my name speaks for itself. I came here in the name of Yahweh ben Yahweh, you know. I always came in here with his true aura. It's just that I was lost in the name and too. And so I know his name is very important to call his energy. Because I'm blessed in the name of Son Yahweh Ben Yahweh, man. And this is why I can rebuke satanic voodoo energy in the name of Yahweh Ben Yahweh over my true one third who real. I rebuke whatever demonic attack that Satan got planned over your life. Because I'm really raised up to do this. And I got led to that name and I had to change my name from Jesus you know what I'm saying? Soldier for Jesus to soldier for Yahweh. Because it'd be a it's, a, it's a pagan of the God. And and when you say Yahweh, you're talking about the living, breathing father. And that's why I'm saying. If you ain't here for that, bro, you need to get up off my stuff. I'm attracting a lot of people with this energy. And this is why y'all don't leave comments on my stuff. Y'all, you know, me, I've been secure, steadfast on Yahweh the whole time. Can't nothing stop me. I ain't never been here. Never done no astral projecting or none of that. And like I say, Yahweh, it's not too late for you. I'm not saying you're going to hell for whoever you are. But what I'm saying is it's harder for you type of people too. you see, because you didn't got yourself in something and got too far gone in that. And now you want out and them demons see that and they making it hard for you in your life. And this is what I'm saying. You need to really repent for that, though, because somebody out there, you chose that you wanted them, you know. And this is what I'm saying. I ain't put no beat up or nothing. I'm just going to push this out ASAP. Well, matter of fact, I may just put a beat up. Who knows? Just stay tuned for this, you know, for the next powerful messages or whatever. And this is just a real serious message. This is a real serious message to let my one third know to stay focused on Yahweh. Satan wants you into the world. He going to find a way to send friends and all this stuff around. And when you're one third and truly chosen and you're trying and you're figuring out what path you want, Satan, he'll delete your mind if you get into the wrong things. Somebody will slip something in your drink or, or whatever. You'll find yourself in a worse situation. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Stay focused. The Lord say, you know, endure to the end. Don't let nothing slow you when things get harder. Pray harder. You don't need no path for Satan. 
Whatever you do, do it by your damn self. But at the same time, keep your integrity when you're to yourself. You know, that's one main key I taught in this message. And then another key is, you know what I'm saying? Another key is, you know what I'm saying? You know, being serious, dead of heart. If you already partake into the dark world already. Somebody out there, you know, this is true. A lot of you all have done this in the USA. This is what comes with the USA. Opportunities to serve other gods and astral projecting stuff. You see, but me, these demons see the light on my stuff. When these demons and these folks be out here trying to astral project over real one third and people like me, they can't get past my light. This is why I don't have demonic dreams or anything anymore. It's powerful, man. That's what I'm saying. Yahweh, his real name. Yahweh, his angels come when you say his real name and all. And I stand on that in the name of Son Yahweh, Ben Yahweh. And for my true one third, stay tuned for more powerful things direct from Yahweh. We finna talk about slavery in the eyes of a true soldier and all, man. You see, you know. But this one right here, this is a prophetic message, man. I got many different sorts of types of messages coming prophetic messages and all this was one that's heavy he laid on my heart heavy you see take notes especially like i say i'm gonna repeat it again if you partake in the things of satan it's gonna be hard if the demons are demons <laughs> this is what i'm saying though but you chose that though you gotta repent for that you know what i'm saying satan only gives off the offers for you to get into that world but that world is very very real and a lot of people are finding it out when you didn't got too far gone in a mess you see and this is what I'm saying, just in general, man, you know, you can make a mess in this life just in general, you know, focus on Yahweh, let him lead you because you can make a mess in this life with Satan. And it's hard to clean up a mess. It's just like right now, I got to clean up a lot of clutter in my room. You know what I'm saying? I got stuff cluttered up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no nasty dude. I just got to clean up because I'd be so busy on the moves and stuff that when you, when it clutter up, it's hard to clean a mess. <laughs> You feel me? So me, I'm finna even do that in my personal life. Take a, you know, wipe everything down and clean up real good. You know, you know, fold, fold and everything. You know, you know, I got a lot of gear and stuff laying around and stuff. You see, but that's just an analogy to let you see the point, man. You know, and this is what I'm saying. Stay focused on Yahweh, man, and don't make a mess out here because it's hard to clean up messes out here. You know, in this spirit game, and this is what the Lord said, you know, it's better than I have known me than to know me and to continue to sin, you know. And then he also said for you ones who have partaken in black magic, you know, you can come to him as you are, you see. But you got to be real. This is the final path. This is the final location and destination, man. Say Yahweh. Slyons in the camp, man. Support me on Cash App, man. It's your boy checking out. I love you all. Stay tuned for more powerful messages, man. Wow.